back road and behind us and over to the left, you can see one of those huge power lines that went down. That was me covering the Plainfield tornado back in 1990. On the 25th anniversary of a natural disaster the Chicago area will never forget, I returned to see a rebuilt and thriving town. After the tornado, Plainfield boomed. Lisa Kloss shows me around the rebuilt Plainfield Central High School, a far cry from how it looked back in August of 1990. The whole roof had come down and was piled inside the gym. From the gym to the hallways to the classrooms, you can see how the 260 mile an hour winds destroyed the school. Mrs. Kloss was a volleyball coach at the time. She and other coaches likely saved the lives of many of their student athletes. We did the classic, you know, sit down with your back to the wall, cover your head, and um, you know how people say that it sounds like a train, and it, it did. Being a lifelong educator, Mrs. Kloss now uses the Plainfield tornado as the ultimate teachable moment. She created a PowerPoint slideshow with images like these. Why do you have the PowerPoint? Every year in the fall, before we have our first tornado drill with the kids, I show my students that. I want them to know why we drill. I want them to take it seriously. This location is right in the middle of the path of the storm. 16 miles long from Kendall County through Will. 470 homes destroyed, 1,000 buildings damaged, and 29 people lost their lives. This monument is dedicated to those who died. Less than a mile away sits St. Mary's Immaculate Church, a beautiful building filled with stained glass, the Virgin Mary and Jesus. This building itself can be considered somewhat of a resurrection. The buildings here were totally destroyed. Chopper 2 flew over the collapsed steeple back in 1990. Inside the sanctuary, a mess, debris everywhere, a congregation in shambles. What do you hope is remembered? People who were here remember how everybody pulled together. Having faced a day where it looked like everything was lost, new life came here, and new life in ways that people could never imagine. The hope is that folks never forget that Plainfield has several activities planned tomorrow to commemorate the anniversary, and I will be there as a part of it all afternoon long. We're going to have uh, folks there to remember that day, uh, to celebrate recovery as well. And you know, when kids go through a drill mm -hmm. and you know, growing up, you went, oh gosh, another drill. I, I bet when they do one there, they go, oh, yeah. this, is, this is for real. Oh yeah, especially when your teacher lived through it right. and can tell you exactly what it felt like to do that.